and this is important uh, for the next. Now we get a lot of calm here. I'll just trigger it and turn it off. Uh, just pause it a bit. Uh, now, the calm actually says the same as the all the first one said. It turn on the aft flight control LVLH on the aft ADI. I'll just flip those two to low. I'll, you'll see it later down the road where uh, we approach the RPM. That the low setting is what we need on the rate. So I'll just set it now. And we are also ordered to turn on the uh, to turn change the sense to minus Z. Now we talked earlier about it. If I look back, this is the minus X. If I look up, this is the minus Z. And you can see the ISS right here if you look carefully. Now what it means actually that the uh, reference point for the RHC and the THCs will be looking up. If I want, if I'll uh, translate forward on minus Z, I'm actually translating the shuttle on the minus Z axis, which is up. And if I'm translating down using the minus Z sense, that means I'm thrusting minus X towards the tail of the shuttle. So we're actually moving back. This is why I said knowing those axes is important because we're going to use them a lot. Now, let's uh, go into the real deal now. This is the new LOS. It looks just the same, but the behavior is slightly different. First of all, we have uh, the range which hasn't changed. We have the uh, rate closure which uh, we change quite significantly actually because it's now uh, actually a true uh, slant range this is true slant range and this is a true uh, closure rate referring uh, to cl closure rate without any uh, consideration uh, on any axis this is the uh, combined vector closure rate now uh, if we switch to uh, elevation azimuth mode you can see uh, the elevation in azimuth uh, in comparison to the minus z axis so when it says that the elevation is 7 point plus 7.9 and the azimuth is plus 1 if you look up you'll see that the shuttle hold on I'll try to stabilize is above the center of the payload bay this is the plus 7.9 degrees and it's slightly to the right of the window, so this is the plus one on the uh, y-axis, the uh, the lateral axis, the azimuth. So as we close in, we'll try and uh, slowly center the entire thing on zeros. We, this is our purpose, to have the uh, target directly above the PLO bay while we're closing in. So let's just start running because we have uh, a lot of time, uh, distance to close. Uh, the nominal closure distance is about uh, closure rate is about three feet per second, so it's a long time. So we're on negative closure, and we're closing in. Uh, now the needles uh, do not represent a uh, specific location of the target. It actually shows us uh, exactly how much the target is drifting. We have the X1 and the X10 settings, uh, we change the scale. The X1 has 2 uh, millirad uh, per second, milliradians per second change of angle. So it's just drift, so minus 2 is minus 2 uh, milliradians. Uh, the X10 changes the scale by uh, 10 times, 10 folds. So it's not minus 2, it's minus 20. So it's much less sensitive. So we'll use the uh, plus X for now. Now, uh, let's just time skip a bit. And you'll see that we have uh, our elevation closing in. And you can see the needle corresponds with it, uh, which is in the minus, meaning uh, the elevation range will decrease if we're in the minus. And this is in the minus will actually uh, we're drifting to the plus X and the target is drifting towards our minus X I know but you'll get the hang of it as we go 
same goes to the y and we need to oh here it is we're on 0 0.9 so it's different at uh, drifting in the right direction so we'll just go back to uh time skip and uh let's get out never never ever ever important never ever 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 no matter what you do do not uh fire rcs thrusters during time skip it uh it will jump from place to place and you won't be able to control it so every time you need to make some sort of an adjustment get out of time skip make the thrust you need while whether it's a pulse or a five minute uh, five second uh, thrust do it outside of time skip and then turn time skip back on and see what the difference is what the change did so all i need to do is thrust minus z up to about 3 fps and again minus z i'm on the minus z sense which means that to, to make a minus z thrust i need to thrust forward not up forward and we're back to time skipping now we'll just watch this azimuth and uh, elevation change and drift and i can turn on the camera and i'll see the iss up here uh in rough uh, in those ranges we need to have the target centered so if you can see the uh azimuth and the elevation as we can see we're just drifting in and going into the night side we're gonna lose visual so and there you go, no need for the camera. We'll just keep on closing in and we're for, ah, here we are, the closure has uh, decreased. We need to check it from time to time. So let's just uh, thrust a bit more. And back here. And waiting for the closure.